Alright, so today we're going to take a look at the basic features inside Inspector within DaVinci Resolve. So Inspector is basically a tab which you can find right here in the upper right corner, just click on it. And it's used for many basic things such as messing around with the scale and proportions and position of your clips. So I've got two clips here, I've got a DaVinci Resolve PNG logo and the clip of these two girls dancing around. And at first you can see we have the transform tab. Right here, first feature is the zoom, where you can basically manipulate the size of your clip. All you have to do is play around with the sliders, you can increase the size or decrease it. And as you can see, both axes here are linked by this chain right here. So if you mess around with any of them, the X or the Y axis, your clip will increase or decrease its size proportionally. Now, if you unlink this chain right here, you can play around with the width and the height separately, like this. And as you can see, on the right side of each feature here, we have a little diamond button. This is the keyframe, which means you can animate pretty much any feature within Inspector. Let me know in the comments if you want a video specifically on the keyframes. Okay, so right below the zoom, we have the position tab. So if you play around with the X axis, you can move your clip horizontally. And if you play around with the Y axis, you move it vertically, like this. You also have the rotation angle, which you can use for, well, rotating your clip, like this. And right here you have the anchor point. So if you turn on this button right here, you can see this little circle right here. This is the anchor point where all your animations and movements will happen from. So right now every motion of the clip will start in the center of the clip. But if we move this to the corner and we play around with the zoom, you can see it will start decreasing and increasing right from this point right here. See? Okay, so right here we have two features where we can play with the perspective of the clip. We have the pitch, where you can play around with the dimensions vertically and the yaw, where we can play with them horizontally, like this. You can also flip your clip sideways or upside down, like this. And that's it for the transform tab, you can close it now. And right below we have the cropping tool, which is basically used to cut off some parts of the image, like this. Left, right, top and bottom. You can also adjust the softness of the cropping, like this. Now here we have the dynamic zoom, which you can use if you want an automatic zoom without having to keyframe it. So we can turn it on. As you can see here, by default, it's a linear zoom. So let's take a look how it looks. By default, it zooms out. If you wanted to zoom in, all you have to do is click swap. And there you go. And remember, the dynamic zoom will take over the whole clip. So if you want just a part of it to zoom in or out, you'll have to do it manually by keyframing the clip where you want the zoom to start and to end. Now right below dynamic zoom, we have the composite mode, which basically tells Resolve how we want our clip to behave in relation to other layers. So for example, if I place my clip one layer above, and then change the composite mode from normal to darken, you'll see it turns all black. But if I place my logo right below it, you'll see now both clips are combined. And you can play around and see which composite mode you like better. You have plenty of options to choose from. And that's all for today, let me know if you want another video with more advanced features inside Inspector, and if you like this video, make sure to subscribe to the channel, and if you want to learn more about DaVinci Resolve, check out this video showing on your screen right now, and I'll see you there.